In today's episode of The Insect Hunter, I'm going to show you how to collect insects using a wet shovel. It's probably not what you think. Let's find out how to use it. First off, I want to tell you guys that I'm filming this inside today because I had some issues with the weather, the wind was horrible the day that I filmed this, so this is my second take. And as we move forward into the winter here in Idaho, I'm probably going to end up putting more of my videos of stuff inside that's happening in here um, as much as I can. But I do have some footage of things that I filmed over the summer that I'm going to make into episodes, so stay tuned for those. I've got to give you guys a caveat before I get into all the explanations on this stuff that this is not the most technical thing. I'm sure a lot of you scientists out there watching this are like, what in the heck is Jason doing? This is weird. Like, this does not look good. This is not the right way to do it. But the truth of the matter is most people have access to a shovel and most people have access to water. Um, thank goodness. And so this is something that just about anybody can do to look for insects in their plants. Now this, the purpose of this is not to collect in the same way like a sweep net. This is more focused on very small insects and that's how it's gonna work. So let's go outside and I'll kind of show you guys the technique and walk you through how this works and we'll see what kind of insects we can find. The first step is you're going to coat the entire top part of your shovel like this in water. You just want a film of water on there and this is gonna help cause insects to stick to it, the water tension will kind of hold them on there and they won't be able to get away. The second step is you're going to sweep through the field. We're not going to sweep like a net. We're going to actually hold this almost like a metal detector or something as seen here. And then you're going to run it through the field and just run it through the tips of the plants and just kind of run it around in there. And then the third step is we're going to observe all the insects that stick to the shovel. So let's take a look at some of those uh, here on the camera. So as you can see here, um, in this alfalfa field, there's a variety of things. Look right here, we've got a mayfly. So uh, there are some rivers and canals near here, so it doesn't surprise me. Um, this guy can get away easily, but you know I could just pick him right up or grab him with some forceps for a collection. Also here, we're finding some aphids, which can be a pest of alfalfa, but uh, also something to look for. Uh, went out collecting. We've got these aphids here and then I also was able to find these uh, kind of almost bright reddish colored aphids which are kind of interesting. Probably a pest but still interesting to look at nonetheless. Also finding some of these bugs which I think are big-eyed bugs. They look a lot like big-eyed bugs which are little predators that go out and hunt other bugs and things uh, so they're actually helpful and good to have there. And also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's these really tiny little yellow things sticking all over the shovel. And those are actually thrips, which are a type of insect that can feed on alfalfa. They cause damage like this. Take a look at this picture. That's kind of the damage that thrips will cause in alfalfa. If they get in a high enough population, they'll start to cause this damage to the alfalfa. So those are another type of insect you can find. I know they're really small and it's almost impossible to see them, but this is a picture of what they look like. They're very small insects, so most farmers or people really don't notice thrips all that much. In alfalfa, some of the common species would be the western flower thrip and onion thrips, um, which kind of have a yellowish color to them, which you can see here on the shovel. If you do collect insects this way, if they're big enough, you can grab them with some forceps or with your fingers if you think you won't smash them. And you could also take some alcohol and dump that um, onto the shovel and then kind of have a vial or something or a bag in front of you and then they'll just kind of wash into that. And then you could take a look at them to identify them either for an insect collection or for just pest management to know what kind of thrips or other insects are in your field. So overall my thoughts on the wet shovel method is that this actually does a pretty decent job of finding a different variety of insects. Uh, when I run a sweeping net through here, I probably would find some leaf hoppers, I probably would find some aphids, but I normally would not be able to see these thrips just because they're so small and you don't really notice. So this is another way to look for a different diverse group of insects that could be in a field, whether that's for pest management or just for a collection if you're trying to collect insects for yourself. If you try it out at home and find some different groups of insects other than aphids and leaf hoppers and thrips, 
Um, let me know. I'd like to see what you guys find. If you don't know what you found, send me an email at theinsecthunter at gmail.com and I'd be happy to try and answer your questions and help you figure out what you're seeing. Also, let me know if you guys think this is really goofy and not the best way to do this. I'm sure people seeing me doing this are wondering what in the heck I'm doing uh, when I do this, but it's it does work to kind of give you some different groups of insects. So let me know what you guys think and like and subscribe to this channel to stay tuned next time where big adventures start small. Thanks for watching.